So in this video, I want to talk about modifiers. In particular, I want to talk about the mirror modifier. Now, since this is the first video that I've talked about modifiers, I'm going to take a little time to talk about what those are. If you're just interested in the mirror modifier itself, check out the timestamps below and you can fast forward to that part of the video. Modifiers are a tool that will help us do our modeling quicker, faster, and do so in a non-destructive way. And the keyword there is non-destructive. And what I mean by that is that modifiers can be turned on and off and there doesn't permanently change the model that you're working on, which is great and super useful in terms of iterating or trying something new. So to add a modifier, we're going to select the object that we want to work with, and then we're going to come over to this little wrench here. And then in this case, there's no modifiers applied. So I'm going to click the add modifier, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of modifiers. But in this video, I want to look at just the mirror modifier. I come down here to mirror, and it gets added like so. And nothing's appeared to happen to our object. That's because it's sitting at the origin and we haven't modified it at all to use the mirror modifier. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to make sure my cube selected, go into edit mode, and I'm going to select the entire cube, back up a little bit, then I'm going to slide it along the X axis. And you can now see that there are two cubes. And that's because if you look at the mirror modifier, we're mirroring on the X axis. Now that my object is no longer on the origin, we can see both objects. If I click the Y, and then move on the Y, you can see that I actually have four cubes. If I push the Z as well and go down, you can see that we now have eight cubes. So what we're doing should be no surprise here, given the name of the modifier, we're taking this object and mirroring it around these axes. Now, a more common way to use the mirror modifier is to split a model in half and model on one side, and then the mirror modifier will duplicate all that work on the other side. This is super useful if you want to create a model of a, of a person or you just want to make sure that your model is perfectly symmetric and you don't want to have to do the same work on the left side as the right side. So I'm going to delete this cube, create a new cube and go into edit mode. And I'm going to do a ring cut and cut it in half like so. And then I'm going to select one half the cube and delete those faces and then can add my mirror modifier like so. And it completes the cube. Now you'll notice that only half the geometry can be edited. So I can take this one side of the cube, move it around. I could take a face. I could extrude it, scale it in. And we can do pretty much anything and everything we want. And it gets mirrored on the other side. Really, really useful for models that need to be symmetric. This can quite literally cut your workload in half.